just you know in a nutshell it's it's about a character dealing with the tragedy on the backstory which we're not going to get too much detail but and he's going through through life struggles with that kind of hovering i would think above his head the whole time so he's dealing with you know issues of of this life that we all deal with um at, at different times and you know coming to find <coughs> hope forgiveness and redemption um at the end of the story so that's all i'm gonna say about that <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> well we're from san diego you know southern california it's a diverse cultures you know from as far as music goes from reggae music to metal rock and roll a lot of hip-hop and and rap and um we're all fans of all kinds of different musics we're not just like a rock group or a punk group um so when we decided a long time ago to make music we wanted to infuse all those great types of music that we enjoy and hip-hop is one of them you know but we're more old school guys you know what i mean so we follow a lot of back in the day which was more of the old school new york hip-hop that was that came out you know what i mean mm -hmm. i mean obviously we we were still young when a lot of the west coast stuff um came up but for you know og stuff was obviously <coughs> you know yeah Everything run dmc yeah eric b and rock uh, eric b public enemy coogee rap all that epmd stuff. epmd <laughs> one of our first shirts Boogie down productions we had a pod shirt that kind of had that epmd vibe. letters yeah. yeah so that's just you know and we're one side of us we're currently working on a new shirt that's gonna be like nwa logo <laughs> <and> pod <laughs> <so>. <laughs> i i think you know man we never came out and said like hey we're a christian group it was like we were just so open i think about our faith and our beliefs you know what i mean that once people start to to latch on to you it's just that natural thing to say oh this is this is mine you know what i mean and i think i think because we were so you know we were heavy and we were so open and so bold that that's what a lot at the time that's what a lot of the, these young kids needed they needed a someone or somebody to say to that those guys believe like me or you know maybe they were a little timid about their faith or ashamed of certain things and it was like nah dude if pod they're vocal they're hardcore those guys are those guys are bad you know um that, yeah we're christians and I, I think it gave them a little bit of a, a boldness you know what i mean it's different man because hip-hop comes from a different culture it's more of a arrogant look at me type of thing and if you're trying to give glory to god some there's a there's a it's like an unbalance mm -hmm. and so we've met a lot of hip artists back in the day and they're they have skills but then you feel like okay well i always have to say jesus the x amount of times i have to do this x amount of times but that's not really the culture it's like but you should just be excellent if you're the sickest mc in the world and you happen to be christian the world's gonna know who you are it doesn't matter how many times you rhyme jesus you know what i mean or it, it if you does, say anything at all they're gonna hear it in your lyrics it's like this dude is dope at, at, least, at least the real world that knows hip-hop is gonna be but then you also get these cats that that will never play in the secular arena because they're just not known and they're not even really accepted into that mc world because oh they're christians but so sometimes i feel like christian mcs are the ones that separate themselves from the world and and there's also a market in a niche so it, again and we face the same thing how many times you do say jesus hallelujah rhyme also gets you get bigger pay because now you're known as that artist and you're stuck in that world. And if that's you, that's cool. You want to encourage Christian youth group kids in the church? Dude, by all means. Yeah. But you can't knock like, oh, no, nah. the world is like, dude, the world needs excellent hip hop artists. Yeah. So, but when you put that stigma on you, you know, that like the, the Beastie this, Boys were, were coming off on the Buddhist did, you know? and But and they never came out and said that stuff. They, they weren't were just like, dope. yeah, they were just being them. And if you're a fan that is, you know, and you're a fan that is intuitive and knows, no matter what genre it is, like, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm picking up something on these lyrics, and and as a person that wants to know, they go digging deeper. You know what I'm saying? And they and they're like, okay, this this is a this is a trip. You know, one, I, of, the, one of the first lyrics we had, one of the first songs which I still like to go by to this day, is "Let the Music Do the Talking." <laughs> and we used to have it on the back Sorry. of our EPMD shirt. It said, let the music do the talking on the back of the t-shirt. Which I think 
I think a lot of times that's what art is. It's about the interpretation of the person that's viewing the art or listening to it. So it's like, you're gonna get what you're gonna get from it. Um, but if you wanna dig deep and see, where is this artist, why is he singing about this? Where's it coming from? Mm. Most people tend to do that research. Yeah. But a lot of people seem to assume, and that's where there's a problem. Like Sonny says it all the time, like the digital era, nobody does their homework. Everyone wants a quick fix. Oh, cool. So it's like it's just fast food, man. I just say, yeah, it's fast food. It's not Ruth Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no one's foodies. Eh? It, yeah. it, for me, even before I got saved, I remember a group called the Boogie Monsters. And to this day, I remember um, never, ever, ever take the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast. But they were sick and they were accepted in the underground. I think they were signed to, um, um, what was it? Lords of the Underground. Like they were, they were pulled underneath them and they were touring regular so you just see it as like these dudes are dope to this day i still remember those lyrics and then you find out later hey those guys are christian so for me it's almost like they're they're co-op they're in the real world doing their thing and however god wants to use them if that's in their faith it's like dude i'm gonna go out i'm gonna be a light in this world they're doing that but i think sometimes as the church even for us people put on this in, in this huge burden and responsibility like we're supposed to go save Marilyn Manson yeah you know what I mean and and dude hey I'm, I'm cool with it or they get they leave the show pissed off because nothing was be said because you didn't do an altar call. call we've gotten that too right off in the middle of this bar it's like so it's like wait a minute who, who's leading this is it the Spirit of God or is it what, what you think we're supposed to do so I think a lot of times in music and as as artists and entertainment we fall under that burden a lot and you feel like you have to do that. And so it doesn't make, sometimes it doesn't make the music genuine because if it's from your heart, bro, then do it. If it's led by God, then do it and go out. But I also see that some people, whether it's a Christian hip hop or just regular guys, that there is not necessarily a danger, but this is called, this is called life. You're in the real world. Anybody can hide in the church and go to church seven days a week and, and be safe. And if you need to be safe, because maybe you're, there's a history there and and that's what you need for your life then by all means and sometimes even us as Christians that struggle and sometimes we are afraid of our own shadows and go and being in the real world sometimes it is it is scary so that if there's guys that are gonna cross over into that world dude then you need to be locked in your word in tune with God because you it has to be a call in your life to say I'm gonna go out and be excellent I'm gonna give God the glory but you also have to be aware that this isn't the church anymore, homie. You know what I mean? Not that there ain't downfalls and struggles in the church. Trust me, I've been on both sides of the curtain. Every day. Every day, you know what I mean? There's just as much going on over here than there is here. But if you're out here now, okay, guard up your heart, guard up your mind, guard up your eyes, because this is the world, but this is the world. So how can you call yourself a believer of Christ but and not be in the world that doesn't that's never made sense to me so we've always battled that too mm. we've always been too Christian for the world and because we've taken Christian on enough. Jesus but never Christian enough for our own brotherhood our own church so it's always been like hey well we're gonna go where where they accept us you know what I mean mm -hmm. but any advice I would give the same thing be dope be dope be ex it doesn't be matter if you're an artist if you dude if you're an architect you know, if you're a mechanic, like, I can't stand when people put the fish on their ads for their, because he's a mechanic, it's like, oh, he's got the fish. Oh, he must be, dude, that means he's a Christian mechanic. I'm going to take my car there because I'm a believer in the Lord. Nah, can he fix my car? Yeah. How long has he been a mechanic? Yeah. You might, I do, you might, you might do me. I don't know you, you know what I'm saying? But show me, you fix my car. Mr. Mechanic, I'm like, damn, <laughs> that's what's up. This guy's the best mechanic in my city. Hey, and he's a believer, he's a Christian, brother, what's up? But be excellent, it doesn't matter what you do, man. Yeah. Be excellent, give God the glory, so. But that's on you. That's on you, what you decide to do. I know, I know. we've known guys that say, hey man, I'm believers, I'm Christian, but I just feel like I'm called to the church. Like, right on. That's good. That's awesome. That's what you're called to do. Do it. But if you, there's those, man, I, I wanna go out in the world, then dude, know what you're getting into, be ready. Well, the funny thing is, is that you're, you're, regardless if you want to be in that bubble or not, you're, we're all human, so we're all in the world anyways. Yeah, yeah man. So we're all going to deal with the same struggles, and that's what this character on this new record yeah, is going through, you know, and kind of finding your way, you know. And, and I don't know, it, it, 
people try to separate themselves, but dude, you can't. You go to the supermarket, you're not going to be dealing with a Christian person every single time. You know what I mean? So it's, it's not Amway, man. You're not building this pyramid of this Christian people. If you're in a world, I know what people say, well, you're not of the world. I get yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. But when you're cruising can't around, hide. not yeah. everyone's going to look at life the same way you do. So all you can do is be the positive light, man.